Hello, this is Eric Miskell with EMS Now, um, here at the uh, studio interviewing Brian Matthews from Bright Machines. Um, Bright Machines is an interesting kind of a company. You've been around quite a while, you have a hell of a history. But let's start with maybe defining for people kind of what Bright Machines is and what you're bringing to the market. Sure, so Bright Machines is focused on what we call software-defined manufacturing, and we're focused specifically on the electronics industry um, on the final assembly and inspection uh, part of the process. If you think of a normal uh, manufacturing line, the front of the line is already highly automated. You've got your SMT machines and so on. But you have an army of people, the back end blues, uh, where everything's done manually, putting those screws in, doing the pick and place, the gluing, screwing, the labeling. And we think with all the new advances in computer vision uh, and machine learning, big data analytics that we can really revolutionize that. So we're a company, a uh, little more than a year old now, uh, where we're combining hardware and software together uh, with the cloud to really tackle that problem. And you really, like you said, you lead with the software. So it all begins there, right? So you're taking the, the, these processes that are out there that are very labor intensive, and then, but you also have the hardware component, you have your cells, right? That, that are, are brought in place, that are configured, designed, to, to, to fit in the line, in that environment, to, to simplify it and remove that labor. Yeah, no, that's right. Um, I think, you know, analogy we could use is maybe Tesla. You know, it's, uh, it's a piece of hardware, uh, but it's really the software that makes that thing special, and it gets better over time. Um, and so we're, you know, working with a subscription model where you actually don't buy the robot, you subscribe, and that allows you to get these software updates, get all of that cloud machine learning, and, and the product gets better over time. Um, and I think the reason why a lot of the back end of the line hasn't been automated in the past is you've got robots that are blind, they're numb, and they're dumb. And, you know, we want to change that. We think computer vision, for the first time, not just 2D uh, vision like a lot of systems, but full-on 3D vision is, uh, is going to be the big differentiator to let it tackle the kinds of problems that couldn't be done before. And part of the subscription is, at the end of it, they can turn turn it right back over to you, right? Oh yeah, and traditional, you know, the customer takes the risk if you buy something, yeah. you know. The vendor sells you something, yeah. you got to figure out how to integrate it, how to maintain it. You've got to find out if it actually is worth uh, what you paid for it. Exactly. Uh, in our world, um, it's scalable. Yeah. Uh, you could start out with one of these cells mm -hmm. um, and you could scale it up as the, uh, you know, demand for your product goes down, you can mm -hmm. scale it back down and, and we take the risk, you know. you. Uh, if, when your term is over, you just return them to us and we take them back. No, it's fascinating. Actually, and I'm trying to remember as I sit here, I spoke to somebody today who uh, says that they ordered one of your machines and are including it in their environment already. And it was That's an great. EMS company that I was speaking to. So, uh, and I'm drawing a blank on who it is. I've spoken to a handful of those people today already and somehow you guys came up. So you're yeah. made, so the word is out there, right? You're yeah. Certainly. We have uh, right now, in our first year, we have about 80 what we call micro factories, which is uh, a set of cells uh, put together. 80 of these in about uh, 30 factories in eight different countries worldwide. So uh, that's just in our first year. So we're in production uh, and we continuously, you know, we've been growing our software team pretty dramatically. Mm -hmm. uh, we're up to about 550 employees now. Uh, well over half of those are on the software side of the house okay. uh, and really doing some advanced uh, computer vision yeah. and, and robotics. Yeah. And we're making it, We really our goal is to make it so easy that you don't need system integrators anymore, that customers will do the programming in-house uh, and make it easy to do changeovers, make it easy to go to a new product, make it easy to do smaller volumes. Right. I mean, people only brought in automation systems for really high volume mm -hmm. products because that was the only way you could recoup the cost of all that system integration. Uh, but you know, when we start to make it easy to program, now you can start bringing it down into the medium volumes and, and hopefully into mm -hmm. the small volumes in yeah. the future. No, I think it's a fantastic model. I think it's going to shake up the industry, right? Because I think you're doing something that um, this is, was probably much needed, you know, in this. And I know you all have some history coming out of a, a large EMS. Um, so there is, it's not like you're jumping into this blind and, and the hopeful. It, there certainly was, with y'all's background, speaks to, you know, the, the solutions you're bringing for us now. So um, I know we got a wrap, but is there anything about uh, Bright Machines that you haven't commented on that is important to get across here today still? Ah, oh, there's so many things. I know. Um, you got a minute, though, Brian. <laughs> uh, I got a minute. Um, 
You know, I just say that if, if you are struggling with the back end of the line, yeah. um, you know, if you think of what's going on with tariffs or people wanting to bring things onshore, um, this is a great opportunity to make uh, manufacturing more local um, and really change the dynamic. You can have, you know, Germany, a high uh, co labor cost country, uh, really now can use these techniques mm -hmm. to compete uh, with other parts of the world and do it in a different way. And so I just recommend, you know, come talk to us. We'd love to, to understand people's problems and, and work with them. I think it's a great message. I think, you know, I wish you nothing but success. Uh, and I'll be curious to track this and report on as we move forward. Okay, Brian, I appreciate it. Thank you.